Alright boys and girls and welcome yet again in another installment of Ralph's Garage of Chaos. Today I'm going to show you how to change your transmission oil. Now my transmission is acting fine. Uh, I have no problems with it whatsoever. Um, but it's got 140,000 miles on it and uh, I think it's due to be changed. Now, what I'm going to do is just show you basic, easy, peasy tips how to change your transmission fluid. One, you have to know if what kind of transmission you have, or what kind of fluid it takes, because all these all these cars take various types. Tanas take different type of transmission fluid. Uh, you know, you've got Dextron, Mercron, you've got uh, funny looking name uh, transmission, but you should have a manual on your car. Like I do. But, it's, it's got its benefits and not benefits. Now, since this is a, a Saturn, there's a Honda motor in it. Uh, it's got, probably got a Japanese transmission. Uh, you want to check your, you want to check your fluid. You want to see what it, what it looks like. Um, and smell the, the, how pungent it is. Now, granted. Do you have clutch discs inside your transmission and they, 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 they go back and forth and the fluid is for hydraulic the, with solenoids and engage them clutches and disengage them clutches. You have a torque converter that locks up the converter so it makes you a higher drive, high, high, higher actual output ratio. Um, this has a, this, this is a four speed, well, Three speed with the overdrive. All right, it's got a lock lock up converter. If if your if your engine your transmission's acting funny and it's got uh, torque converter chatter like a chatter so it goes in and out of gear in and out of gear. Uh, it's dirty inside, or one of the solenoids is going bad. Um, but this this is an easy step just to see. Just to, you want to keep this car alive. You don't want to have revival of it because that you rely on it. So get yourself a napkin or shop rag or whatever, or shop rag. But this is going to show you. And the funny thing is, with this dish permission, you got a, a dipstick tube about the size of a freaking straw. And I'll show you another tip. If you have a 2000, I think this transmission was from 2004 to 2007. Or eight. So now I got my dipstick. You want to smell it? Eh, it smells a little bit burnt. It's not red anymore. It's it's like a dark red. Not like red like blood, but a dark red. I'm gonna put it in again. I gotta find the freaking hole. See what it looks like? You see the color? That's 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 140,000 mile transmission fluid. Now, when you look at this, which you can't see because you're there and I'm over here, and you say, "What the hell? How the hell am I supposed to put any automatic transmission fluid down there?" All right, this is what I came up with. And there's a couple people out there that say what to do and all that stuff and yada 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 yada. But I'm going to show you what I do. Hopefully I can get you in there with the tripod. Oh, you don't see my grass. Let me see. Or better yet, maybe you know, just You, 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 you see that? That's my transmission tube. 
That's my where my dipstick tube is. That's where I gotta put my automatic transmission fluid in. Oh my god. What a pro pain in the ass. So this is what I this is what I come up with. And hopefully I can get this camera in a way that you can see exactly. Well, well let me show you what let me show you first and uh, and then and then I'll uh I'll uh, bring the camera there, give you a headache again. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, did you, did, did you like it? Did you subscribe to me yet? Do that. Tell your friends, tell your family. All right, let me spin this around so I can see what's going on. All right. This is the this is the apparatus that I figured out. It's a it's a it's a it's a funnel with a, with a tube on it, clear tube. Go find this at an auto parts store. Usually they're smaller. I had some tubing laying around, so it's half inch, no well, five eighths by half inch diameter. See the little duty dot I put on there. So what you're gonna do is put your Dipstick in a safe place. I'll put it right there so I don't miss it. I made this apparatus here. Bring this down here. You get one of them, them twisty things that makes it a little bit easier to tell you twist it. And tight, nice and straight. See how I'm, this is basically uh, what is this? this? Is like a wrap, like a garbage bag wrap, or wrap that around with it. This is a uh, hair tie. how it goes see how I have it you see the, the, the twisty tie uh, hose clamp nice and tight it's not gonna come out you want it in a straight line don't have it go around corners and all that stuff and that's pretty much it next you need transmission fluid now this is a Saturn nobody has a freaking clue even the manual says one says four, one says four and a half, one says seven. I've got seven plus. I would recommend to use this stuff. Now, this stuff has been out since the beginning of time. It works good. It cleans and lubricates, as it says, sticky valves, da 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 da. Uh, has some goofball stuff in it. Guys put this stuff in like if a transmission is slipping. I put like two quor two two containers of this. Um, it works. I don't know what it has in it. it. Has some polymeric film renewed, whatever it is. And, and also and also will will take care of your seals too because it has some kind of goofball stuff in it that it makes them swell a little bit. And the one thing is. is this crap here calls for Mark, uh, Dextron Mark 6, which is full synthetic, and I don't know. I, uh, I don't like using, I don't like using full synthetics all the time, and, uh, but this is my, this is my, uh, my ace, ace up my sleeve, so, but this stuff is nasty. It works, but it's nasty. And it stuff comes out like freaking, like tar. And I'll show you how to take the cap off of it. I'll show you what, what you need to make this stuff be liquidy, not freaking tarry. 
this I got that Dollar Tree it's a container you want to you want to get a container and you want to put this in the container like that you see how it is and I took the cap off just in case I don't want because it'll heat what I'm going to do is I'm going to use hot water out of a coffee maker I'll go see I built I, I brewed up a bunch of hot water in the in the coffee maker. Real quick. Okay, hot water. Full. No coffee in there. Hot water. Try to keep it down, but it don't really matter. It's gonna convection. It's gonna. This is nice and hot. Let that sit. Now I'm gonna set the camera up. Hopefully, show you how to do this. Be right back. Back again. Next, I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a, a three-eighths ratchet. Get a good one. Don't get one of them cheap-ass ones. So have a decent one. That it's not gonna you're gonna it's not gonna break in here and bust your knuckles. In on this, it takes three eighths drive, square drive, so that the ratchet works fine. Next, next thing I would suggest you to do is get some cardboard. Cardboard boxes. These are like a dollar fifty at uh, Wally World, and uh, they work great. Plus, this is a nasty job. It's a messy job. I've driven this car this morning so it's got some temperature in it just don't go like go to freaking uh, Ohio and back and then you want to change your change your transmission fluid best thing drive it around a little bit get it up to operating temperature and then stop all right let me see can I see that Still can't see it. Goodbye. See, I have my drain pan here. That the transmission transmission fluid they'll take that at all the convenience stores. And Walmart takes oil. All art auto parts stores take the oil back because we have to be responsible. We want to protect their environment. Now you have your Lucas sitting in that container full of hot, warm coffee, coffee temperature water. And you're gonna take your, take your right, fits right in there. I'm gonna go back here so I have a little more. Come on, a little more leverage. You see, comes off. Break breaks really loose. Now, wait. The caps up, the tops, topper things up. You gotta go nice and nice and slow because this thing's gonna shoot out. Hopefully, it's not gonna make a freaking mess. Maybe what you do is let and make sure it's not a windy day. Today's not windy. It's sunny as shit, but. See my hand, you see that? See, see how I have it dripping out of there nice and easy. I'm sorry I don't have a lift to show you, but you know, let it drain not, down. Now, you see how I have, a, I have a jack down back there? I don't have this 
thing level yet because I want to keep all the fluid back this way so it, it doesn't go freaking shooting out you know what I mean well what I'm going to do is let it drain for a little bit and just watch the flow and uh, I have cardboard down so if I do make a mess it's going to spill on the cardboard I won't spill on the, on, on the macadam another thing is, is uh, uh, see there, open up a little more, see how it's coming out? So I'm going to let that, look how, look how dirty that is, you know? It's a little bit pungent, but I know what pungent really is. It smells like freaking burnt up, uh, and you got problems with your transmission. You could do this too, the Lucas might help you out, but um, you got a 50-50 chance, you know? So I'm going to let this... Sit. And I'll be right back. All right, you see it's dripping out. All right. Now, this is what it came out of it. This is a drain plug. It's a magnetized one. See, there's crap on there. You want to wipe that off. You have your blue rag, shop rags. take it all off. Oh, let me set this down. Hopefully you can see. You see it? You want to take, I mean, there's going to be some metal down there. There's going to be, there's, because it, everything wears, okay? We're trying to keep this thing alive, and the fluid is probably at its close to its end. And I don't want to have any more. I don't want to have any problems. I haven't gotten any problems yet. So this is called preventative maintenance. See, nice and clean. Uh, I've got. Nice and clean. See, nice and clean. Nice and clean. Uh, another another recommendation that I didn't do, but I can recommend it to you. So you're smarter than me. See the pan? You might want to throw a throw a, uh, a a rag, you know, a shop rag or something like that, because you might get. See, I got splattered. So I'm not bad, but I, it's just, I got caught it because I let it drain slowly and I was holding this hot freaking drain plug because I didn't wear gloves all right and I let it come out as slow as possible and then I jacked up the back so it levels I leveled it out so all the crap that's in there all the fluid is going to come out I'm just going to let that drip for a little bit and then I'm going to start filling it up okay next we're going to fill it up First thing I'm going to do is I want to put that stuff in first, the Lucas, and then top it off with the the, the rest of the, the automatic transmission fluid. And I've showed you my, my setup, how to do it. All right, you can see, it, the, see that thing down there, the clamp, clamp down there. I make these cars very tight in there. So, um... As you can see, the cardboard, the cardboard helped out with a little with the splash. Those old, that's old freaking stuff from somebody else. All right, that's not from me. All right, now I'm gonna put some fluid in it. Get augmenting better and better at this, people. Not like some of the people out there that are freaking 
geniuses to do this stuff. Get back your hand. Take the cap off. Look at, look at how it flows. Oh, shit. It's kind of stupid. There it is. Got, it's got a little check about on and off, all that stuff, but another thing. I didn't I didn't cut this. I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna put it in my tchotchke box so I have it for something else. That's all you need to do. Put this thing in a container. Put the cap back on. While it drains. The stuff still moves slow, but if you would take this stuff off the shelf and put a stuff is like tar. It doesn't move. You gotta heat it up. You make yourself a cup of tea after then with the, with the hot water. If you're English. Okay, that drained down. Went faster than I thought it was. So now I'm going to put some ATF.
now. I'm putting in three. Three because it takes it says everybody's got different things. I'm going by I'm going by I'm going by the internet and all that stuff. It for plus I felt my container, my container doesn't feel that heavy, so it's probably took about five quarts. So this is just under a quart. Just by a pube, it's under a quart. I'd say well, for you metric people out there. 710 milliliters, a quart is 946 milliliters. But I have more than enough, more than enough transmission fluid to overfill it. So I'm going on the bottom. I'm gonna I'm gonna start it up and put it in. I'll tell you what I do. This is all-wheel drive, so I have the back wheels, I have the front wheels on jack stand, well on, on ramps, and I have the back stuff up in the air. Plus I have my hand brake on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this thing level and check the fluid. And there's ways of doing it. I'm gonna show you my way. You see cardboard, how it saves it? A little leakage. That's, that's, that's water from the air conditioner. Now we're gonna check, check the transmission. About a half a quart low.
remember, you gotta take this stupid freaking thing off. I want to run it through the gears again. I have it in neutral, check the fluid, and the handbrake's on. I don't want this to roll, roll away. Perfect. Right where it's supposed to be. Let me saw it. Okay, so I just showed you how to change. If you have a 2007 Saturn View 6, 5, I think you have a 3 speed with overdrive, this is the way to go. I don't know why you don't have a filter in it. I really don't like that, and I really don't like running uh, totally synthetic, but. I recommend this stuff, all right? It's been out since the beginning of time. Uh, I don't have any issues with the transmission, but it's good and safe bet to put this in. It keeps everything flowing the way it's supposed to, everything clean, it's got that funky polymer film bullshit that they say about it, but this stuff works. It works for me. I just did it. I'll give you a shout out back again so you can see what it is but easy peasy so you figure I got four quarts there that, that synthetic cropping cheap even at Walmart that's uh, like six, six it's under seven dollars but 28 and then this stuff is cheap at, at Wally World all right this is nine bucks plus tax all right so I got, I got like 30, 30 bucks into it, alright, 30 bucks, no, 35 bucks, but I would not recommend you to go to Joe Blow's garage and have a flush and fill because your, your clutches wear a certain way, it has crap in there that makes it sticky, so what you're doing is you're just changing the fluid, you're basically giving it a, a, a uh, what do they call that? Uh, uh, 
like the diabetics get it done when the kidneys are not mess they're not working right. Um, but do it normal operating temperatures because it gets too freaking hot. So you want just warm. Drive it around the block. Don't drive to Texas and back, but you know what I mean. Uh, drain and fill. Uh, that's pretty much it. Did you, if you liked it, subscribe. If you didn't like it, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends and neighbors. Uh, catch me back next time. I'm gonna probably, I'm probably gonna change injectors in this thing too because I have one that's acting stupid. It's been doing that since the beginning when I got it with 117,000 miles. But 45 bucks on Evo Bay. I might as well show you how to do it because there's not really too much out there vaguely out there in, in YouTube land. And I know everybody likes to look at that. So hit like, hit subscribe, give me a comment, tell me something you want me to do, uh, and I, I'll do it. I mean, I, this is not the only vehicle. This is the only vehicle I have, but I have other vehicles to my disposal. And uh, check out my uh, check out my buddy Sean D's Junkyard and Barn Finds. And check my uh, my niece, Juliana Corferro. She's got that artsy tartsy. I gotta get more of a female base. Okay? Catch you next time. Have a good day.